The Schoolock Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community answers questions on everybody's mind right now politically. But I decided to go ahead and explore this scenario that if Trump don't leave, you know, he probably don't have no plans to, you know, get stimulus or not. You know, you don't know what he's tweeting this and that every day. You know, we not partisan. You know, we with him if he giving stimulus we you know we not with them if he not giving stimulus i mean that's basically what you know this channel is about but anyway we're not partisan whoever gives stimulus go ahead and give stimulus that's the, but let's just explore this idea i'm gonna pass it to my homeboy james james go ahead and take this away. the school lock stimulus lighthouse alert community presents what takes place if trump refuses to leave trump could be dragged out of the white house if he refuses to give up power on january 20th on Saturday, Joe Biden stated victory and began the clock on the transition of power in between Trump and Biden. Over the United States history, there has actually always been a peaceful transfer of power. A president has never combated the result on Inauguration Day and declined to leave the workplace. Yet, Trump's habits is leading some to wonder what would happen if Trump just refused to leave the White House on January 20. Like everything else, there is a strategy in the event of a president refusing to leave the White House. As we stated on July 19, the American individuals will decide this election, Biden's team stated in a statement Friday. And the United States government is perfectly efficient in escorting trespassers out of the White House. While the comment was indicated to elicit a laugh, Newsweek is reporting that the Secret Service would in fact get rid of Trump from the White House on January 20. The Secret Service would escort him off, they would treat him like any old man who'd roamed on the property, one previous authorities involved in the transition procedure in between former President Barack Obama and Trump informed Newsweek. Trump's refusal to deliver power would be a historic relocation. No sitting president has ever declined to leave workplace or leave the White House in the course of American history, the White House Historical Association told Newsweek. In reality, George Washington developed the custom of a serene transfer of power when he decided that he would not run for a third term and ceded power in 1797 after the election of 1796. According to the 20th Amendment at noon on January 20, a president loses their mandate to be president. As of 12 noon of January 2021 the beast does not belong to him, AF-1 doesn't come from him, and the White House does not come from him, previous U.S. Navy intelligence and counterterrorism expert Malcolm Nance informed Newsweek. Traditionally, an outgoing president would go to the inauguration, and as soon as the new president is sworn in, they would leave and take one last flight out of the White House to Andrews Air Force Base to fly to any place their new home will be. In a break with tradition, it seems that Trump will decline to participate in the inauguration, and has actually instructed staffers to not assist in the shift, with GSA Administrator Emily Murphy going so far as to refuse to sign a letter that would state Biden the winner and allow government funds to begin being utilized to finance the transition. Some costs consist of covering travel for potential candidates and beginning background look for the thousands of hires that Biden will need to make in the coming weeks. All of the major networks have called the race for President-elect Joe Biden. While some individuals are worried that Trump might utilize the military to avoid the Secret Service from eliminating him, the Pentagon states that won't take place. A POTUS becomes the commander-in-chief upon taking the governmental oath of office, a Pentagon spokesperson told Newsweek. A former POTUS does not keep any authorities as they relate to the U.S. armed forces, even if Trump attempted a legal challenge to stop the Electoral College from ballot, he would still be tossed out of office on January 20. There is no constitutional provision to extend the term of workplace, the White House Historical Association stated. If no president has actually been chosen by January 20, 2021, then the statutory line of succession begins, which implies the Speaker of your House ascends to the presidency. The vice president's term similarly ends at noon on January 20. Of the 43 men who preceded Trump, 35 willingly ceded power due to retiring, being term limited, or losing re-election. One resigned and the other eight died in office. None have actually ever been by force removed by the Secret Service. 